my name is Rose. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, today my topic is going to be MBA in Canada. So in Canada to pursue your MBA either you need four years of undergrad and which I did not have. I did my MBA in Canada and I did not have a four year degree from my home country. I had a BCom degree of three years from my home country. So I wanted to do my MBA. So I listed colleges. So most of the colleges needed four years of undergrad. So I did not qualify for any of those colleges. But in Vancouver, one of my education consultant told me that there are four colleges who don't need uh, four years of undergrad for your MBA degree. So one was um, University of Canada West, which is in downtown Vancouver. Uh, one is uh, Vancouver Island University, which is around 100, 100 to 200 kilometers away from the city. Uh, the third was uh, Royal Road University. It's in Victoria. It's the capital of British Columbia, BC. So that was around, again, it's like four or five hours drive. And to get there, you need to go by ferry only because or by plane because there is no road because it comes between Pacific Ocean. So that was very far from the city. So I did not choose that university. And the fourth one was TRU, Thompson River University. I think that is in Camp Loops and that's again like five, four to five hours from the city. So among these four, I thought uh, University of Canada West was my best bet because it was in downtown in Vancouver because I always wanted to, because when I was searching for colleges, I always thought to be in the city, to go around the city. So that is why I think I chose that college. And also I chose it because um, because I had asked many friends and messaged many of those and everyone told me that their MBA finishes very early. So so they have only five semesters. Um, they have only five semesters to complete your MBA. Each semester is of three months. So you can either finish it in 15 months or you can take a break in after your three semesters like in nine months you can take a break and uh, take a three months of break and then continue so then it will be of 18 months or you can do it however you like but you can only take break once after three months so i thought i just wanted to do it as soon as possible so i did not take a break i i did it in over 15 months so here's the catch so when when i was applying for university of canada west so I was pretty lucky, I don't know why, but uh, they had offered me a scholarship and that was like something I was not expecting coming in the way. So that scholarship was a lot of money and I did not expect that coming. And now many of my friends are applying for the same colleges and they ask me like, how did you get it? Like I asked the college, like, why did you send it out? So it was only during the time of COVID they were up. Um, encouraging people to come to Canada. So I had got a big scholarship around $10,000 for that. So I chose this college. Eventually I came here during COVID and what are the minimum requirements for this college? So this college only needs a three year degree, undergrad degree. And also uh, you need your IELTS uh, score and which is also um, minimum 6 and overall 6.5 but if you get any any band you get 5.5 is still acceptable for IELTS I guess and I don't know which other language courses they which other English course they accept but I think IELTS and 2-3 more they accept so I did my IELTS I came here I even had a 3-3 three, three, and also usually colleges in Canada have a uh, experience like if you only ha if you have a um, experience from your home country of two or three years then you can do your M MBA but University Canada was did not have that so this is a good option for people who are just coming fresh from India and want to start their degree so it's pretty easy like after you do your bachelor's in any of the 
कॉमर्स फील्ड यू कैन जस्ट कम यर डायरेक्टली स्टार्ट योर एम बी यू डोंट नीड अ वर्क एक्सपीरियंस एंड आई थिंक दिस इज गुड फॉर ऑल द पीपल हु जस्ट वॉन्ट टू कम स्टडी अब्रॉड विदाउट एनी एक्सपीरियंस दिस इज अ गुड यूनिवर्सिटी एंड टॉप इट्स इन दिट इट्स इन द सिटी सो आई थिंक इट्स वेरी गुड यस एंड वेन आई केम यर आई हैड गॉट माई स्कॉलरशिप ऑफ टेन थाउजेंड डॉलर सो आई रिमेंबर दिस थिंग लाइक वी ऑल हैव लाइक like for me it was very fascinating staying to come in a new country living here because most of the people i saw on instagram they were like living a good life and very fancy so i have craze for sneakers so i remember the time when i came here i had a 15 day i was in quarantine for 15 days and the day i came out of quarantine i remember uh, back 2 years ago it was time for easter and i had just finished one of my semester online from my home country and when i came here um it was easter and my semester just ended but my final grades were not out and i was so excited and i was like i just got my gic money so i went to a store nike store and bought myself shoes of like 100 110 um uh, it was a nice nike pair of shoes so later i got my grades and i failed in one course like a course like like i was i just like this passing percent for university canada west is 60 minimum you need to pass in every course is 60 but overall you require a 72% grade 72% to pass overall average you need 72% even if you have a 60 in one course it's okay and if you have a 80 and 85 in other courses it's still average out to 72 so that is okay but you need 60 and i remember i got around 59 i just failed with one person and it was so miserable and then i came to know because of that thing but the scholarship which i had was taken away so that was again a big big thing for me because i was dependent on that scholarship that money which was coming out so it was very miserable for me so so like i was dependent totally on that scholarship wali and i had flat the side of time and i remember failing in that course was not something i was expecting and it happened and it changed the way i was looking at things like i i i came to know at that point like like oh shit i have to work so hard to make up for that money Uh, which now the university is not supposed to give me because i failed in that course and the um, scholarship i had that term that you cannot fail in any courses and you have to maintain a, a cgp of 3 so i went a day after i went i know i was so like my heart was so small like i went to nike and i returned those sneakers again and i was like oh shit man like and in 2 3 days only i realized that this is not something i was dreaming about and it's not so easy like instagram the way you see things on instagram things in real life are not so easy so just be prepared prepared for everything what is going to come in your way the second reason why i chose to study at mba at university canada west because they are school uh, they are fees was actually lower than those other three so they are fees was only around the time when i came the two years back it was around 35000 dollars only and on top i had got a scholarship of around 10000 dollars so I had to pay only 25000 dollars so that is the one reason i chose because it had low fees and in doing a mba at the cost of 35000 dollars was like in compared to my home country india it's just the same like if you go to big universities the cost of studying an mba is just the same so the last thing to cover and end this video is like what is like to study mba in canada or coming from a country different country how how did you cope up this so when my i am actually not so good in terms of education and all i don't know how did i do it and it just happened over over the period of time i think i just wanted to do it do it and i just got over it but i think the education system here is quite different from our home country and it's 
compared to our country india i think it's very easy because here you don't have to just study study everything and give exams and write exams no it's quite easy because here you have to just um, um write assignments write big essays like it's kind of like how we used to write essays in our english subjects in school so it's just easy like there are some things like which are little bit tough like which we have never like in some universities in india it is that we do it like index and citations references but people who don't have knowledge with that it's kind of easy and over the time you get a grip of it and you learn learn and it is quite easy because because i think university also knows that you're coming from different country you don't know how their education system runs so usually they have this crash courses at the beginning of each um, semester to teach you apa styling or index citations references there are library resources there are lot of things lot of things out there to help you so it gets easy over the time and i think it's definitely worth it to come here because it's because i chose this mba because i chose a two year of mba because you get a three year of open work permit so now i am on my work permit for three years it's almost now a year for me on work permit i almost have a and then after a year of experience i i am eligible to to apply for my permanent residence in canada and it's quite easy like people who want to settle down here the the pathway is very easy and compared to other countries like australia london um us it's very easy in canada so if you are thinking to do your mba in canada after graduating so i think you should definitely come here and maybe you have a choice there